Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to do the brake pads and rotors uh, on my 2005 a Toyota Camry. Uh, you see the Toyota Camry uh, right there. That's uh, pretty simple. We're going to do the front ones, so uh, let's uh, dive into it right now. There are some, uh, some liquids that you're going to need uh, for this. You're going to need some brake grease, you're going to need some anti-seize, uh, and you're going to need something that you can spray on those rusty bolts to try to get the caliper off because the uh, um, I'm sorry, not the caliper, the rotor off. The rotor, once you get all the bolts off, the rotor is probably still going to be stuck. So you're probably going to need to spray uh, something on it that will uh, that will free it off. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to need some uh, brake cleaner. And then, of course, you're going to need your brake pads. And you're going to need two rotors. Uh, and the rotor, when you get the rotor, the rotor is, is all greasy and nasty, so it doesn't get rusty. So you want to make sure uh, you spray it down nice with um, this brake fluid. And then wipe it off uh, before you uh, do the installation. So let's get to it. This right here is our rotor uh, that we're going to be replacing, and this is the caliper. The brake pads are inside here, so I'm going to take the, it actually will come off in two pieces. There's just a couple bolts in the back, and then uh, we'll get to the brake pads, which are hidden inside here. Before you start trying to loosen anything, I would spray some, uh, some penetrating lube in here, because I'm just anticipating this is going to be kind of tough to come off. So we'll just let that. Of course, I just drove the car, so everything's a little hot. I'll go ahead and hit these bolts in the back, too. Should be a little more back here. There are two threaded holes right here. I'm not sure what size they are, but sometimes the, uh, the rotor does get stuck on there because of the rust. And you can actually screw two screws in there. I'm not sure what size they are. Uh, and I've tried a couple of my bolts that I have and they don't fit. But you can actually screw those in and it'll actually push, push against this uh, dust plate in the back and it'll help pry the, uh, the rotor off. But we're gonna use uh, physical force to get it off if it's stuck. Try to give you a better angle so I got uh, this screw right here, or this bolt right here, and this bolt right here, uh, that's what covers the, uh, this, is, this is what will expose the uh, brake pads. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to take this off, and then we should be able to remove this.
you can see I got the the caliper uh, sitting right up here because we've got the uh, the line right here uh, that has the hydraulic fluid in it and you don't want to leave it hanging because you don't really you don't want to uh, uh, damage this line because if you damage this line you're gonna have to bleed your brakes and that that'll be a whole nother video so this right here is um, uh, the outside pad and this right here is the inside pad and they should be able to slide out So this is the surface of the brake pad that actually comes in contact with the rotor, uh, and there is this metal uh, clip that we may need to that we may need to pull off this if it's not on the uh, on the new pads. These are the uh, these are the new pads, and they actually have the uh, uh, the metal piece on the back. So so this whole brake pad right here is uh, trash, and we will use this uh, this new one. The kit does come with all these new uh, uh, rattle clips uh, and whatnot, but I'm actually probably not going to replace any of these unless they're broken. I'm just going to kind of uh, clean them up, and then I'm going to put the uh, uh, the new pads right in the place. So there's the clips here, the clips here, uh, and they're all all around here. They're all in this bag, but I think I'm going to use the uh, original clips. Next thing we we'll need to do is we need to uh, take this bracket off, and once we take this bracket off, uh, then we'll be able to remove the uh, the rotor. Let's just break these last two bolts open. <clears throat> that wasn't too hard. This one. <clears throat> there we go. This one's coming handy. All right. So this is the, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not a mechanic, but this is the retainer. This is what actually holds the uh, brake pads uh, in place. And the caliper with the piston in it is, uh, is up here. Got some brake cleaner here. Since I'm gonna keep using the old, the old clips, I just wanted to be nice and clean. I'm gonna get a rag now and wipe them off. Just get this a little on the clean side. And I'm going to put some uh, some grease in here too. Any place you have metal touching metal, you want to have some grease just to help keep things quiet. So, so here we go. Now we get to take this bad boy off. You may need a little persuasion. Oh, there we go. That was quite easy. So here we have the uh, old rotor, which is actually really hot right now. Here's the, the new rotor, looking all pretty. Take it out of the plastic. It's gonna be all greasy. So we're gonna make sure we spray it down with the brake cleaner on both sides of it and wipe it down. Now that I've sprayed it down, I'm just going to wipe all the extra brake cleaner off. I just want a nice clean surface for the pads to come in contact with. 
Remember, wipe both sides. All right, new one goes on, just like the old one came off. And then you may want to get one of your lug bolts here and just put it on here just to keep it in place until you get the caliper on. We'll do two just to be on the safe side here. To my knowledge, there's no torque specifications for these. You just want them to be uh, pretty tight. All right, I've got them snug, I don't got them totally tight. So I'm gonna get the uh, new brake pads and put them on there now. I would put a little bit of uh, grease where the brake pad's going to touch this little rattle clip. Some there. Squirt a little on the top. It'll probably come out. New brake pads are on. I'm going to put a little lube on the back sides of them. Now we got these guys that should just pop right out. This one, and this one. <clears throat> we're gonna wipe this off and we're gonna re-grease it. And stick it back in. There we go. Then we'll stick it back in and wipe off the excess. Here's the next one. Lube it up. And slide it back in. Now let's put the caliper back on. So these brake pads obviously are fatter than the other one, so you do have to compress your brake piston in some. There we go. Now the brake caliber should slide right into place. Yep. Bingo. Let's 
snug everything back on. Sometimes it takes a little, uh, you have to use a little muscle. There we go. That is your first uh, side. Uh, now all you gotta do is go over to the next side. As you can see, it's easy as that. Uh, it's getting awfully dark here. Uh, uh, sorry about the, uh, about the poor light conditions. Uh, but I mean, as you can see, it's really that simple to change your, uh, your brake pads and rotors. Uh, we did compress the, uh, the cylinder, uh, the piston inside the caliper, so it is gonna be important for you to press the brake pedal a couple times. It might take you know three or four times because the brake pedal is gonna feel awful loose you know, the brake pedal will probably go all the way down to the floor. Pump it probably 10 times until it gets, uh, until it gets uh, nice and stiff. Uh, and then you'll want to take your car for a drive uh, and just make sure you hit the brakes before you need the brakes. You know, do it, you know, three or four times and maybe give yourself a nice little panic stop uh, just to make sure everything is working great. Um, so again, um, like I said, this is a really easy job, a really easy do-it-yourself job. Uh, if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if this is the first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe. Have a great day. See ya.